Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, one place to start, Leicester City in the FA Cup on, on Wednesday night. How much are you relishing the, the prospect of testing yourself and your players against Premier League opposition? Looking forward. Looking forward because it's, um, uh, it's a very good test. Um, it's a fantastic game, FA Cup games. In the squad, we love the FA Cup and, and we know that it's 90 minutes or maybe more. Who knows? Uh, to that we only one game away of of another round in the FA Cup, knowing there is the, the difficulty of it, right? But for a few reasons, first of all, because you manage to to play a game against a, a stronger opposition, who's at the minute the third best team in England, and possibly we could say there's on a Champions League level because they're going to do it next season in the Champions League, they're going to be playing it. And it's a team that won the Premier League not far ago. And it's a team very well organised. I think Brendan Rogers has done a fantastic job in there because uh, not only I see a lot of the good things that Leicester was uh, doing, and I see a lot of things that, that Leicester mixed with different aspects and it's a team that not only is very harmful when there's space as well as a team that can dominate you and they can wait for the right moment to to break you down and and so you can put a lot of stress on on any team especially if that team is one level below then of course the the <clears throat> the difficulty is higher but we really look forward because we trust ourselves and we are in a good moment and 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 we have that mentality that it comes with a little bit of a break of the league because it's a new competition and, and it's a good test. But we, we do know the difficulties, but we look forward. Of course, we'll be in the dogs ahead of the game. Um, you always say you go into every fixture trying to win it. Do you have to believe that this team are capable of causing an upset tomorrow? Right? Yes, of course. Of course. Um, I always think like that. The same way that when I, when we analyze the opposition, like Leicester, I always take a few minutes, some long minutes, to put myself in the in the head of the opposition and and see ourselves from from the outside, you know, as a team, tactically and technically, basically. And um, I do think that uh, all the chances are in form. Well, big chances are in for Leicester because, of course, they 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 have the talent and the level to to do it. But when you do the analysis and the, you do that exercise, you see that if the game turns to to our side, we do have the the ability to to overcome tough moments and to and to impose ourselves. Uh, even though it's going to be difficult, uh, we go in there with a with a mentality to win the game, to win the game. And, and we know how difficult it's going to be. And we know that we need uh, not only to do a fantastic game and possibly they, they don't need to be at their best. And, and we need a, a lot of support from the fans because the difference between the Premier League and the Championship is massive. And every, every year is going to be more. But football is football and it's a game. And there's three results that can happen in a game. And it doesn't matter when the game starts, the game starts. And we need to make sure that we prepare for it, that we understand the kind of game that it's going to be and that we anticipate that and we are we're focusing that's our job and that's what we've done. Given our league position and the stage that it is in the season, is this a game that you can really throw everything at? You don't have to prioritise one competition over another and you can give everything to tomorrow night? I took a few decisions to... Because, as you know, possibly the only... The difference on, on, on how we get to the game and how they get to the game is the number of, of games that we played. I took a few decisions, um, taking into account um, the load of the previous games, because the last thing that I want is to overload um, some players or someone who needed that I think it will be, it will be good uh, for him to keep him being fresh uh, after. But that, that's, a, that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse and, and we've got to select a team according to a kind of game that we are expecting and we've got to try to make that game to happen in the way that we expect and it's got to be a team that we, got, we go out there with the mentality of competing and, 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 and getting the result. We've only reached this stage of the competition a handful of times in the last 30 or so years. 
Is there less pressure on the players tomorrow night? Yeah, there's none. From the outside. There's the pressure of themselves because when the game starts, uh, when the game starts, there's 11 against 11, and and, I, and I'm backing up players. You know, I'm backing up players to to go out there and, and 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 do it for us all. You know, and but of course, I understand that I understand the situation, and it can a players cannot have a pressure because a few things. First. Because it's good to go to a football play uh, game uh, without feeling pressure and just focusing on, on trying to win it. Second, um, we got the team to a point, to a round that we haven't been there in years. So, third, we're coming from a good moment that we we done a massive turnaround and we got ourselves back into into a, into a position that everyone we should should be very proud of what everyone has achieved here. So. It's not only no pressure on the players, no pressure on the club, and no pressure on the fans. So we go all there together and and try to put the things as difficult as possible for for Leicester, knowing that it's going to be a difficult game. But who knows? Of course, Leicester is a team with lots of quality. What are you expecting on the pitch from them? Well, you will see. <laughs> I'm expecting them. <clears throat> I'm expecting them to be. To be having a constant um, possession rate, possibly because they do have the ability to do it and the, the the talent and the quality to do it. The game that is played in the in the Premier League is very different than the game played in the Championship, so we need to adjust a few things as well. And um, I'm expecting a team that will um, attack very well out wide and will will fi- will try to filter a lot of balls as well inside and try to to hurt. There's a team that that tries to put problems to the opposition. Um, and they have the ability to do so, and the, the individual details. So, uh, I'm expecting a Leicester that will that will force us to be in a situation that we need to be uh, uh, working together, cooperating together as a players to 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 make sure that we avoid some situations that that, that could be dangerous for us, like one v ones or 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 some situations similar to those. Um, but as well, the game at the same time, uh, if if they're dominant, they will as well need to be to be aware of of certain areas and certain moments in the game that we can be dangerous as well. Just just for the fact that they will be uh, possibly using those possession rates. So uh, I just hope that it's going to be a good football game and that we take our chances when we have it. Because at the same time, you need to be clinical in this kind of of games against this kind of positions because you know they're going to be clinical. And the Premier League teams they have a very good ability. There is the 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 way they manage to cut your chances to a minimum. So we know that those chances that we're going to have tomorrow, we need to, to make them count. Is there ever a good time to play a team, Leicester winless in five, but a thin squad perhaps been stretched a little of late? Is this a good time to play Leicester? Mm. I don't think when, when the game starts that counts. So any time is the time. Tomorrow's the time. Um, Time has to be decided on the night. We've, of course, already experienced extra time and penalties. Have you been practising them this week? Yes. It will be. As a, what a question. I need to practise them. Otherwise, it will be, I'll, I'll be stupid not to because it's a possibility it can happen. I think the possibility is slim, but it's a possibility it can happen. So I, I try to practise everything that could happen um, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we've done it. <laughs> uh, over 5,000. Blues fans making the trip across the, the Midlands from west to east. How much of the game is about them at, uh, at the King's Palace? It's, it's totally about them as well because, you know, the fans, they were they were immense in Millwall and in QPR they were even even better, you know. In, in, and we felt it a lot last Saturday in QPR. We felt it a lot. Um, I think in both games, we managed to do something for us, in, something enough for us to win the game. Both, I think we scored the goal in Millwall, and it, it didn't count, but but it was a clear goal. And and Kupi, I think uh, overall, we should have possibly uh, we had a big chance of taking the three points. But the fans, they 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 were massive. Tomorrow, I heard there's more coming, and and we're gonna need them because. <clears throat> It needs to it needs to be uh, an all together in it uh, tomorrow. Just on the team news, 
First of all, how's Jeremy Baird? Jeremy is, um, he, he got a scan and um, uh, he shows um, uh, an injury on the, on the, on the armstrings area. And it shows initially, it, it was a very painful action, but it shows it is milder than what we expected. So that's luckily for us and, and I'm happy for himself as well. So it's not going to be um, a very long one. So it should be fe featuring for us um, before still has a lot of games to, to play for us, yeah. In terms of players returning, how's Kieran Maranci and Jack Gomez? Uh, Max working on his recovery. Karim already working with the team. He was he was uh, with us on Saturday and he is ready for selection since since last week. So.